tripping. Got the gold, walk the roof is missing. Ice. <sighs> man, finally. Hey man, what's going on, y'all, man? You know it's your boy, KT Uno you know, man. And we waited forever. If y'all don't know, if y'all was up early, we waited 45 minutes for this demo to drop. Man, we got to do better. I don't know who to blame, whether it's Sony, 2K, Ronnie. So it's easy to blame Ronnie. You feel me? But we got to do better because I waited way too long for this demo, man. So I'm already knowing. You see, we got Dane loading up this is pretty dope i'm not gonna lie i know a lot of people are saying man this is the same game and stuff like that yeah i understand but it's not though it's, it's, it's different it's really different <laughs> as far as it just not being 20. <clears throat> i'll say anything as long as it's not 20. you know i feel like everyone is burnt out at this point yeah yeah yeah. you know we gotta go through all this little policy nobody reads this dog but i wonder what be in that fine print I really want to know, like, someone had to take their time out <laughs> to read that. Somebody, whoever made it, read it. You know what I mean? I don't know. But, you know, we're going to go ahead and do whatever to get through. And, um, yeah, we're going to see. This is the build. You know what I'm saying? You guys know that I play, you know, center primarily. That's, that's what I play. So, I definitely went off and I had to cook up. It's our first time through though so you know this is my first time through so i'm still trying to learn if i'm like a little hesitant which seems like i'm going a little slow only because i'm working my way through the demo for the first time but as you guys can see it resembles the original 2k20 that is a different face that is not me that boy right there slick fugly and i'm not so uh yeah we're gonna go ahead and use this dude that was uh in the prelude demo <laughs> that boy che it's that boy che right here that boy found his way on uh, 21 but uh yeah you know for the big obviously you know i play center but i've always sold out and went to power forward because you get better uh playmaking badges you get downhill downhill is very glitchy when you're moving up and down the court you know what i mean first name kt uno man last name you know man of course of course like I said, I went power forward, right-handed. Let me see. Always number one, definitely uh, number one, number one. So I went off and I kind of went slow as far as looking at all these bills. Obviously, that's the interior finisher. It's another type of interior uh, force or whatever that a lot of people use, a lot of bigs use. I didn't really notice it. I, that's new. That's another pie chart right there. Cause see how it's just a little bit more finishing and less shooting. Looks like a BP. If you're looking at it from a guard standpoint, that's somewhat like a BP type build, you know. Obviously slash and rebound of the blue red, you know what I'm saying? I that's my build. I, I rock with that. You know what I mean? You got the stretch, you know. Shoot, you got the uh slash and sharpshooter. And there go the second new pie chart. So they added two new pie charts, y'all. You know what I mean? And I peeped that. You know, I was streaming it earlier. And I peeped that. This is our all red, man. So first thing I noticed was out the gate that the speed is a little bit slower. That's the speed pie chart. You know what I mean? So in 2K20, it was 81. 81 speed at 69, if I'm not mistaken about 81 speed so i looked at that i was kind of like thrown off like thrown off i guess you could say i was thrown off for sure so i was just kind of peeping that <laughs> making sure it was the right build i went all the way around and start so yeah you know i got back to the all red and um i had to go ahead and look at the physicals i was really dumbfounded i'm like yo what's up you could tell that they clearly made big slower so i guess they didn't really like the idea of bigs being 90 speed i guess you know on the pnr although it helped us as the bigs you know out the gate you gotta max out the standing and the driving and max it capped out at 88 last year 88 for each and um i had to remember that i'm not a legend no more you know so it's fair you know playing grounds i gotta you know, I just can't sell out and put anything that I want. You know what I mean? So <laughs> it's all good. Got to max out the defense. 
Everything right now is capped out at 93, where the block, offensive, and defensive rebound is capped out at 93. Last year, once again, it was like 95, everything. You know, got to have that accuracy up. Had a free throw. You know, got to be able to hit them Jones. I had my three, but then I remember what they said about threes not really meaning anything if you don't have a high one. So I often actually put that back down. I just felt like it made more sense to do it that way. And um, if I didn't, I think I ended up putting the rest of this on my uh, mid-range shot. But once again, because like I'm not a, uh, <laughs> I'm not a legend no more, so I don't have the 11 playmaking. Therefore, I'm gonna actually go ahead and try to cheese three playmaking. If not, maybe six, if I can. You know what I mean? Something I have to obviously, you know, get sacrificed, but it's okay. I had to go ahead and check if they, you know, add any body shapes. I thought it would have been cool if they did, you know what I'm saying? Even though they kind of got everything right here. So I looked at 6'9. I went down to 6'8 and it jumped to like 80 speed. So I was kind of like, I was heartbroken. 6'10, 72. I was heartbroken. I'm like, dang, like, this is what it is. Like, 75 speed is the cap. But they changed something, you know, y'all will see in a little bit, but they actually changed something. And I was surprised. I'm not going to lie. I was really surprised. 6'9", 6'8". Like I said, I feel like a lot of people, when you go to, like, the comp pro-am scene, 5v5 matchups, and probably even park, I feel like a lot of people are going 6'9", 6'8". And I'm still a little, you know, I'm on the fence about where I should go. <clears throat> but this is a new thing that they added so weight last year weight didn't affect your speed you were 81 no matter what <clears throat> if you were 260 pounds or 200 pounds you know but now this year speed is actually affected by the weight which is crazy but i think it's dope it's realistic you know what i mean you had centers that was 280 with 81 speed you know what i'm saying the 260 at 6.9 pretty glitchy so I went, you know what I mean? Being an all-red, my interior defense is cruised, but not that bad. I got that 81 speed that we had before. 81 speed and our acceleration is even better this time around. You know what I mean? We got to have an 88 acceleration. Well, I'm, yeah, 88, 90 speed and a higher vert. I'm pretty sure my vert was like a 79 on the same build in 20. So I'm kind of looking. Also, the standing dunk. It's at 95, y'all. See, this is just a demo. So I'm hoping this is probably, like, I don't know if they're going to check this out. But last year, literally, last year, the driving dunk and standing dunk was capped at 88 for the all reds. Yo, it is a 95 standing dunk. Rim protector, man. Glass cleaner is glitchy. You know, you got some goats. You know, you got clutch. You got my boy Willow. They use glass cleaner and they go crazy. They're real good centers. You know what I mean? That's what they do. Me, I actually like Rim Protector. I just feel like, I just like that speed that I get the plus 10 on all my defensive stats. You know, it's pretty dope, but Glass Cleaner is pretty cheese too. You put it in the right person's hands, you know? So I went off and uh, yeah, I clipped it. I screenshotted it. Yeah, 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 for my thumbnail. <laughs> and I had to go ahead and see, you know, shades of Dennis Rodman, John Collins, Anthony Davis. A glass cleaner finisher is what we made. And um, the big question that a lot of us have is, is the plus fives back? Or are these the stats with the plus five? If I had to guess, I'm going to guess that the plus fives were taken out probably would have been seen as a problem because if you had a plus five to this i have a 99 standing dunk a 93 driving dunk with an all red yeah man that's pretty that's pretty wild pretty op so i'm gonna just go ahead and guess that that's not the case that the plus fives are, are basically done so you know what i'm saying that we won't have them we might just have to take whatever we get when we have our takeover now this is the badge layout same thing I ran. I had about I had the same amount on my uh, all red from 19 or 20. Yeah, fancy footwork, man. Get that done. Shooting badge, you know, it's to each his own. Don't really matter. Slippery off ball. 
some people say it does something some people say it don't so like this was the only problem that i would like to have down here if i could bronze and then like quick first step you know silver like i could take that i'm good with three playmaking you don't have to sacrifice too much you know finishing for that to be a thing you know the same thing you know i had 40 but 30 everyone knows 30 is is enough to play defense literally so i went off and set it up you know you guys can set it up however you want but this is this is going to be the build like people are going to be running this build if you're in, like looking to play you know wreck pro-am park anything the six nine bigs literally took over 2k only thing i can see is people probably going six eight you know what i mean and like i said that'll be pretty cheese too but we just got to see you know if it's going to be worth it you know six nine if you get able to keep that height you know play the passing lanes and, and get great rebound animations i'll keep the six nine and be 90 speed you know i'm not gonna lie that's always been to me pretty ideal um big size so right here once again i'm just checking out the the attributes the stats and we're actually gonna try to get some gameplay because why not you know what i mean the demo i know we can't just completely sell out on the demo but it still gives you a good idea I always want to play the demo to see how that build fares and also if there's any new animation that you might want to look out for or that you notice the main thing that you're gonna see is the shot meter y'all yo i'm telling you yo this shot meter is wicked it looks ugly i'm not gonna lie it look really really ugly but you know i don't know why they actually put it in the game or what who idea it was i like to find out because it kind of just throws me off and shooting with it you know when you go to 2k university i had Kawhi. oh there's another big thing right here dribble glitching is still in the game that's all it is and you know i'm not for exploiting the game but i had to see if it was still in there and i uh i was trying to change my camera view right here that's not good cuz I'm not gonna lie to you. You hold L2 and you spam any move and you won't get reached. You know what I'm saying? No one to steal the ball from you or anything like that. So that's pretty toxic, but hopefully that could get fixed. Cause as you know what I'm saying, we had a lot of time, man. Ain't no way I'm gonna be dealing with a point guard dribble glitching up the court because he he getting pressed. I'm I'm not with that. You know, <laughs> I'm definitely not with that. But yeah, with the shot meter, um, it's kind of like all you have to do is try to go. It's like a little gold bar, and there's a line in between. So when you shoot with square, it's still the same thing, but when you use the analog stick, it's actually closer. They want you to um, kind of lean it towards that right there. So as y'all can see, I'm feeling pretty fast. This man Kawhi airballed the layup, but I'm feeling very, very fast. I, you know, move around gameplay feels good but i know it's always on pro i don't know if they adjust the game speed or anything like that yeah i had to change my camera but right now i'm feeling really fast as a center you know it's me just trying to spam y'all can see the new animation you got the shot clock on the ground which will help a lot of people because I know a lot I know a lot of people that would be like, yo, I couldn't see. I'm not looking at my shot clock. It being in the middle of the court, I think is actually pretty dope. You know what I mean? I think it'll help a lot of people. It's pretty smooth. Want to see the double team animation. Eric Bledsoe throws a dot out of being double teamed. So I guess it still just comes down to what type of point guard you are. Your passing accuracy. I know anytime I got double team, having no ball control, I lost the ball. Same thing, just trying to see what, what I could get on a Greek freak. <laughs> Getting boxed up. So I passed it back. Boom. Smooth little oop, man. Smooth little oopy for your boy. Yee. So, yeah, I only play like the first quarter. So I'm just giving y'all gameplay with this build. I believe this is going to be the OP build. All red, 6 9 centers. Y'all heard it from me <laughs> the day of the demo. Like, this build is going to be the most used build in the game. You always have your 6'8 blue red or your 6'9. But if it comes down to tendencies and attributes, the R red is always going to be better defensively. 
you know and with the same finishing gold gold finishing badges at that we've all known that you like you can do well with gold finishing basically you could do well with gold finishing actually make moves <laughs> actually trigger contact dunks so it's me once again just seeing how I move I'm trying to cut them off you got a good blow by animation that's one thing I always want to see how I can move on the center now remember he's underweight you know he's 200 but if we have to you know the gym rat plus fours and then you have the plus fives this build will be a 90 speed with 88 acceleration and still being 69 once you get your rim badge you know your um there goes the shot meter once you get your rim badge though you know you'll be able to have a 90 interior defense and everything like that so i think it'll be pretty dope yep 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 graphics about the same you know it can never really notice too much of a difference obviously next gen we're gonna notice a difference but you know I didn't really like the, the animations I was getting for jumping. I didn't really care for the rebound animations either, you know. But like I said, I know nothing set in stone. They're doubling me. I just got the ball. I only have eight points, but I'm getting doubled, so just passed it. See, I, yeah, that was kind of like a glitchy, you know, it could have just been the animation that Ilya Sova got, but I ain't really much care for that either. It's me spamming. You see, slightly late, aiming right. Still don't really get that too much, but that's something that's going to have to come with the game. So all in all, man, I definitely... I feel like, you know, I don't know. A lot of people are tough on 2K. You know, a lot of people gonna say this is a L, big L. This is 2K 20.1, you know, and that's cool. But it's a new game. And I feel like for people who want to create content and you want to jump on the newest game, I'm, I'm definitely getting this game when it comes out. And I want to see what all that they change from this demo. Until then, I'll still be in the demo making new builds seeing what bills that I could you know I guess uh, put out for all the centers out there and everything like that I'm definitely gonna be on top of these uh, uploads for real this is me I'm blinking that's one thing the stamina was so cruise look but then I can move that quick <laughs> I couldn't dribble with the ball so I guess ball control even means more now that you I guess if you don't have a high ball control you just move a lot slower probably lose your stamina a lot quicker you see, that was a straight. I barely jumped, but that was a straight animation. Once again, trying to see, just check out the whole dribble glitching. So, yeah, I really ended this off the first quarter of gameplay. Appreciate y'all. Make sure to like up, comment, and subscribe, man. Oh, yeah. I try to baby them. They ain't let me. Anyway, though, make sure that y'all like up on this video. Y'all give me any type of feedback, man, because I'm about to go ahead and close out. It's your boy KT Uno, you know, uh oh, and we gone. Indeed, yes, sir. <laughs>